Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my uh, kitchen here today where I'm going to be making some barbecue quail done in the Greek style. So the first thing I want to do is I've got a little tray of uh, quail here. Beautiful looking little birds. And what I want to do is just flatten them out a bit. Um, backbone here. And all we're going to do is get our kitchen scissors and we'll just cut along as close as we can to one side of it. And then we can sort of open it out a bit and just Cut the other bit out. So we're going to discard that and then we just sort of flatten this bit and it just sort of breaks a little bit and that's it as far as prep goes for our birds. So I've, um, yeah, spatchcocked or whatever you want to call it, all my quail there, well, six of them. Now I'm going to make my marinade. It's quite simple, but some classic Greek flavours. So of course, we want some garlic. And I've got, I've got four cloves that I've just grated. I've got here about three tablespoons of just roughly chopped fresh oregano or oregano my American friends would call it about a tablespoon of freshly chopped dill leaves uh, I'd, th I'd throw in one big bay leaf but I've only got these little ones so I'll put in a couple of those right the juice and the grated zest of one lemon and get all those bits of zest in there don't waste it I've got about a teaspoon of sea salt flakes and about half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and to help bind that all together half a cup of olive oil in it goes so just give that a little mix not too extravagant and we'll just get our uh, quails in there Just wash my hands so to start off with I'm just going to give them a good massage with my hands with that oil, those fresh herbs. First I want to make sure that's coated all over because I'm going to be marinating this overnight we cook it tomorrow. Alrighty guys. So I'll get a cover onto that, get it in the fridge, and yeah, probably tonight and that I'll give it another mix up and put it back in the fridge and I will see you tomorrow for the cooking.
Alrighty, so I've cooked up my quail. Um, I've just made a little bit of a Greek salad here with some feta, olives, tomato, onion, cucumber. Uh, a little bit of dressing, but what I really want to try is a bit of this quail. Man, when it was cooking it just smelt so good. So that's one of the little legs. And I'm just going to munch on that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, <laughs> that is so delicious, man. Wow, I can't tell you how good that tastes. Uh, anyway, I don't want to go on and on about it, but yeah. That is absolutely delicious, and the quail is still juicy, melting your mouth. Yum. Alright guys, <laughs> I'm going to sit down and eat this now. It's actually for my um, evening meal. It's just the sun's just starting to go down. Had to wait a while to cook those. It was quite um, windy here to uh, light up the grill. But the wind finally died down a little bit enough for me to do that. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks to all you guys, all you heroes. Sounds like I'm being facetious, I'm not. I really appreciate you people who've subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It just gives me uh, incentive to keep making these videos. I'm going to keep making them anyway, so if you don't want to, no worries. And I will see you all next time.